so here beta our today's topic that is uh, area okay so here you are seeing that firstly I would like to introduce a little bit about area specifically that area that means the space which an object okay okay mm -hmm. uh, here basically wait I am opening that one area that means according to 2d or 3d figure okay how much surface at a button that a particular object is occupying okay mm -hmm. with respect to length or breadth okay that is known yeah. as area and specifically that here in this in this topic but or in this subsection that we would like to study about the measuring area comparing areas and also measuring areas of different figures area of rectangles okay for area yeah. calculations and pairing rectangles also we would like to be able to finding the area of shapes that have straight lines and right angles by counting squares okay, okay. so i think that uh, it is not uh, difficult so what is area and how to measure it so firstly area is a measure of how oh yes the same thing that you can see that how much space the surface of a shape that okay. or object that is covering who means the same thing that what I had explained that means that means area is defined as the surface which an object is occupying simple in simple way means sub, um, how can I tell you give me one second give me one second means suppose that if you are seeing that something there is on the table okay Mm -hmm. so if you would like to see that so whatever that will be the surface of its bottom okay 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 so that means it is it is acquiring that space okay it is holding that space only that means whatever will be the height of that object doesn't matter of that one but 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 that is holding only same area at the bottom okay yes okay yes so that's why we suppose that there is a cup on the table okay what will be the surrounding surface of surrounding surface of cup okay doesn't matter of that how much that it is big okay but or how much uh, that it contains height but only the matter is that what's the area or what's what surface that it is occupying by its bottom okay Mm -hmm. Okay. Understand? I don't think yeah, yeah. I can explain yeah. much more about that one because it's the fundamental thing. And next, so, yes. yes. So, so first we measure the thing and like the uh, shapes, and then we do times, times the length and width. Yes, times, times. You have to do that. Yeah. Means whatever. Means area. That means whatever length, whatever breadth, that will be given. Okay. Or uh, means any type of figure will be there. Okay. There are the okay. specific figures which you have to configure you have to assign that and also only fundament only one thing that fundamentally you have to understand that in parameter you was doing plus okay in mm -hmm. area that you had to do multiply okay okay um sir can you can you flip the page like uh, backwards for a minute i need to take down that this thing what uh, like uh, the uh, definition oh wait 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 hold on but uh, I can tell you, are you writing there something? Yes, yes. Um, oh, the previous one was the air areas measure of how much space is surface of an object or. Yeah. Uh, so basically, the... basically that you can you uh, you can understand in this way, beta. Yeah, I am opening that again. That okay. So in that way, yeah, I refresh that so that it will appear again. So first of all, that what is area and how do we measure that? One marks question that. Uh, that can come over there so area is defined as how much space an object is occupying that's it okay uh, yes yeah in my language no. and also that you can see that uh, definition is also written on the screen that area is a measure of how much space the surface of a shape or object covers yeah simply that's the same thing what I explained that to you in my words understand understand great so next here you are seeing that different shapes a b c okay so 
which one is greater no doubt that c is greater okay yeah, it's uh, easy yep and also that if you would like to see all the shapes okay so you are seeing that it's a length or breadth that is larger than any other shape that is given on a screen so that means of seeing this one we can clearly understand that it will be it will have larger area okay also okay. one important thing that uh, there is a basic way to understand that whose area is larger or not just to assign grade over there okay so grade that okay. means that you can divide that figure into one cross one centimeter square grade okay okay so that means how many will be the number of grid there that will be the area of that figure and regarding to the maximum number of grid or maximum number of blocks over there we have to understand that that area will be maximum okay i don't think that this type of question that will come in your test or exam so no, no. i think that with your permission we can skip that yes yes because you can see well, very quickly that i am doing that here so yeah you can see that i am dividing it into several blocks yep so you can see clearly that each and every block that contains the area of 1 cm square why why you, are, you can ask me a question that sir why it is 1 cm square because you can see that each block that is in the shape of a square or not each block you can see that here downwards mm -hmm. it is yes. a square okay it's a shan in color okay you can see mm -hmm. that it is it it's a length is 1 breadth is 1 okay so that means you can see that it is in uh, uh, it is in the form of a square okay and as usual mm -hmm. that means a little bit before i ha miss uh, i have to tell you that uh, it's a square its area will be side square okay so that means 1 cm into 1 cm so that will be 1 cm square okay so that's mm -hmm. why that each block contains 1 cm square so then in that condition you can get there that it A that will have four centimeter square area, B three six nine twelve fifteen. So fifteen centimeter square, and here it will be five and uh, five six thirty. It will be thirty centimeter square. Clear? Clear. Good. So that means that of seeing this one, you can understand that C has the larger area. Hello. 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 Yeah, I'm here. Oh, yes. okay now come to the next one yes so in this way that we can understand click on each centimeter square within the space to find its area means what wait oh it's a kidding concept that means in this way that you would like to consider that yeah four <laughs> square four centimeter square okay in that way how many square that you would like to click there so regarding to that you are getting that centimeter square area okay yes mm -hmm. and uh, i think that i have to leave this one do you understand it yes 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 sir yes that's easy that's easy yes suppose that when this type of figure will come then how will consider that then this type of grid method that is more convenient than any other one okay why then you have to divide your figure into grades okay yeah okay. like this okay and then you can count your grade or blocks and then regarding to that you can understand that how much will be its area okay so basically that you can see that 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay on the side it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 11 11 so that means you can see that shape b that has bigger area than a come to the third one to understand that i am not going mm -hmm. to ask this one to you because it's a very easy and you are able to you answer of that one yeah, yeah, yeah. i are counting blocks that you will be able to get the area of all the figures that will give 
yes on fourth one that larger one let me see that okay we don't have to do that uh, with respect to grid also yes suppose that it is your rectangle you are seeing that in graded form doesn't matter of that either that will be in graded form or in advance that in if that is grid if that is given in graded form so you just have to count your blocks and that will be your area otherwise suppose that it is not graded okay hold on give me a second I have to I have to take my graphic talent. I have to open again. Give me one second. Okay. Yes. Are you able to see my moving cursor on your screen? Yes, I'm able to see your moving cursor on your screen. Great. So here a little bit better uh, yep you can see that I am writing on a screen so here that basically I'm going to explain about the area of rectangle okay mm -hmm. basically you can see that uh, it is your breath the shorter side that is defined as breath okay mm -hmm. okay and the longer side that is a sign as length. Okay. Uh, wait. Um, sir. Yep. Uh. Um. Uh, well, actually, um. Really, um, what we did in my school was we did uh actually, uh, we, we did length times width, which was more um like easier, you know. What uh. Length times width. Oh, width. Oh, no, no problem, beta. Breadth or width, that's the same thing. Oh. Yeah. Wait, really? Yes, yes. That's the same thing, beta. Oh. <laughs> you know that. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, beta, the formula of area of rectangle, area that is defined as L times B. Okay? Mm -hmm. L into B. Or uh, almost 99% of books they used to assign that area of rectangle that is L B or L times B. So what is the general meaning of L or B? L is for length and B is for breadth. Okay. Breadth mm -hmm. is also known as width. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't be confused. <laughs> Don't be confused. Well, I thought breadth was something else. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Beta. Breadth. That is. It's width, okay? Okay. Yes. So, length time. Yeah, means suppose that if you would like to open your manual book, okay, which you generally use to study in your school. So, there you can see that area equals to, firstly, it would be length times width, okay? Or if you would like to assign their formula, then it will be written as A equals to L times B, okay? It is not written anywhere that L times W okay means but the meaning is same don't be confused over there so okay. that means now length times breadth okay or length times width okay so here you can see that it will be that simply you are seeing over there length is your five centimeter it is your length and that is five centimeter when you will plug in your values in your formula you, there is no need to write it's a unit there okay oh okay yep that means only you have to plug in here five times four okay okay that will be in parentheses and at the last you can write centimeter square okay Fundamentally that you have to do in this way or a little bit in a very very convenient way if you want to understand give me one second I am Doing that again just to explain that length that is 5 centimeter Just write 5 centimeter just for understanding. I am explaining that to you beta But you don't have to write centimeter while plugging values over there. Okay Yes 5 centimeter times 4 centimeter okay so what you have to do firstly 
just multiply your numbers first 5 times 4 it will be 20, 20. okay and on other side uh, yep miss centimeter times centimeter are you saying something to me what no no, no. that's uh, that Oh, oh, okay, 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 I understand, I understand, I understand. So, and centimeter times centimeter, then it will be centimeter square, okay, is your perfect answer. Understand? Okay. Do you understand clearly? Yes, 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 I, I do. I, I, I am actually really good at area and uh, perimeter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, like yes, 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 that's the that's easy concept, only... You have to understand that's why that uh, and you are good so it will be very convenient for us that very quickly that will complete that all the sections related to area as you, I was showing you that there are many sections related to area of different figures so let me refresh that one very quickly it will come on a screen again so section sub section 5 we were doing that and next next and they are asking that what is the area of rectangle so simply that uh, one thing is quickest is that you just have to count your blocks over there okay how many squares are there in a row okay so in a row that you are seeing that there are four squares and how many columns are there okay a row there are one two three four five there are five rows and how many columns are there there are four columns so five row into column if you'll do that then you'll get your perfect area there are four squares in one row and there are total five rows are there yes and then the total area that will be four times five that is 20 squares okay uh, sir, I have just one question. Uh, I used to get confused in third grade. Uh, what's the difference between rows and columns? But isn't like a row is rows is like uh, going sideways and columns is going like no, down, right? Oh my God! I understand, Beta. Yes, yes. I understand what you mean, Beta. A row that means. <coughs> uh, give me one second. Let me see that what is given also there. Uh, hold on. I am clicking there. Oh yes great now yeah here I'm writing on a screen beta always remember that it is your row R1 it is R2 okay R3 okay that means always remember that rows that will be this one okay okay yes these are rows beta okay okay yeah these are rows and what's a column so column that means it will be it will be yep i think that yellow color that you'll be able to see that yes are you able to see that it's a column yes yellow. yes your yellow thing yellow one yeah that is your columns it, oh my god what is happening with my pen sorry because by hand yeah these are columns Vita. so now you can see that six seven and eight okay so now you can clearly understand there are eight 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 columns are okay okay eight columns and how many rows are there so if you three are four it will be four it will be five it will be six it will be seven it will be eight it will be nine it will be ten it will be eleven it will be twelve okay, okay basically okay. that you have to understand that area area in a very fundamental way that is row times column okay regarding to grid figure okay so you okay. can understand that there are 12 rows multiplied by 8 column and 12 is a 96 okay so 96 and then centimeter is your unit it will be centimeter square okay, okay. Yeah, give me one second. Okay. Yeah, I'm back. Do you understand it? Uh, are you talking to me? Yep. Okay, yes, yes, yes. There yes. is no one besides me. Okay. Yeah, because here yeah, on my side it's the morning time. 
and everyone is sleeping. <laughs> it's not of sleeping, but uh, as well there is no one besides me. Oh, okay, I just took him beta. So here you can see clearly on a screen that area formula that you was right. Okay, area that is length times width. Okay, but don't be confused, beta. In many of books, that area equals to length length times breadth. It is also there. Okay. Okay. Yes. So that's the same thing. Okay. You don't have to be confused over there. And basically, that what is fundamental in uh, Miss Equation Formula? Equation Formula that is A equals to L B. Okay. Okay. Or you can write there. L times B, okay, length times breadth, okay. Okay. Do you understand? Wait. Yes, yes, I do. I I understand that. Okay. Yes, and if you would like to confirm about that, then I can send you a picture about that where there is written area equals to length times breadth, okay? Because that when I was just like as in your grade, then also my teacher explained that length times breadth. Okay, he also explained me that length times width because that in in some figure that length breadth beta L B H length times breadth times height. Okay, that was volume. Okay, so in regarding to that, yes, I am sure about that. That uh, when I was just like as in your grade or a little bit uh, one or two grade above, then teacher also explained that there is breadth and breadth and width are the same. Okay, so I am requesting. I hope that uh, now you are not in. Uh, is it clear to you? Everything? Yes. Uh, wait, sir. Uh, you said area equals L B. Uh, because Wait. Yeah. No, yes, yes. Okay. L B or um, L times B. Okay. okay. You have to send me a pic. I I already take took that in my notebook. Yeah. Okay. Uh, area L times B or L B. It is your fundamental formula of finding your area of rectangle. Okay. Okay. Yep. Understand that? Yes, I do. Great. Now I'm going to refresh that so that we would like to do section six over there. Okay. Let's see that what is on section six. No, we don't have to do that. Very quickly that we can understand that we just have to count all the blocks over there and that will be the area. Yes, also we don't have to do that first section. Introductory part that we understand that now the specific area section is here. Yep. So area of rectangle. Here is the first topic beta. Here that we would like to understand about the formula for the area of rectangle. Okay. And also, we would like to use that formula to calculate the unknown width, length, okay, with respect to area. So just see on your screen before, okay. We know, we know that area equals to length times breadth, okay. Okay. Area equals to length times breadth. So if and if you if length is given area is given so what will be breadth so in that condition breadth equals to area upon length okay and okay. Uh, wait a second i have to write that in different color so that he'll be understand that one give me one second yes that means breadth equals to area upon length and length equals to length equals to area upon breadth okay so these are okay. three fundamental formulas which you have to remember but if you will remember the first one only you have to plug in your values in that one known values okay and then you'll be able to transform that okay from left to right up or down okay and then you will get your answer okay okay what i mean to explain i am explaining beta that you have to learn your this formula the first one okay area equals to length okay. times breadth okay 
by this formula okay. if you are not learning your this one breadth equals to area upon length or length equals to area upon breadth so it doesn't matter of that one okay or no need of that okay. if you are learning then that's well and good if you're not learning then that is also well and good why because that if you learn your first formula then whatever your two uh, known units that will be given to you means either area and breadth area or length or length or breadth okay so you can find the third one easily okay okay i see okay i, I i'm repeating my words if you will learn your formula that area equals to length times width okay so whatever yeah. values will be given you just have to plug in over there means suppose that uh, okay okay a uh, little bit that i am explaining that suppose that area is given 30 cm square okay area mm -hmm. okay area is given okay. 30 cm square and its uh, length is given length is given 5 cm square mm -hmm. okay i mean sorry 6 cm square okay 6 cm 6 cm sorry so what will be its breadth they are asking about breadth so simply that you have to write your formula area equals to length times breadth plug in your values over there okay that means mm -hmm. 30 i am not writing here unit there okay equals okay. to length that is 6 times b okay okay now you have to subject b you have to find the value of b so b equals to it will be 30 divided by 6 or not because when you will subject b in that even you will subject b because you have to find the value of b so 6 will yeah, transfer yeah. on other side or not Uh, yes because it's a number so number will transfer to number side simple oh oh okay understand yes yes understand beta always remember always variable b on one side and number numbers numbers numerals rest okay will be will be on other side okay okay always okay so you okay. can see that here is two number and one variable you have to find you have to make variable as subject so what you have to do here you have to do one thing that 30 divided by 6 okay 6 will transfer on other side can you give me one minute okay i means not a one minute few second i'm coming back give me one second okay Yeah, I'm back. Thanks. So, next is. Do you understand that? Yes, yes, yes. yes Beta. Yes. And how will you con consider that it will come in denominator or it will subtract? What? You can see that here is your multiplication. Okay. Okay. You are seeing six times b. here is multiplication so the number when will move on other side it will divide okay okay understand i'm sure yes i do great so now i'm going to refresh and then we can start of this section over here in which one there are many questions to practice and also to understand area of rectangle so let's start What okay. is the a? Oh my God, the same thing that they are asking again. What is the area and how do we measure that? So that means yes. So area is the measure of space on the flat surface. Yeah, it's another definition you can see here. 
area yeah. is a measure of space on the flat surface. Flat surface that means on 2D. Okay. 2D that means mm -hmm. but always remember that 2D in each and every almost every math class I used to explain to uh, each or uh, each student that what is between uh, difference between 2D and 3D in 2D or two dimensional figure there will be only length and width okay or length or breadth in okay. the 3D figure there is a length breadth and height okay Wings, breath, and height. Yep. So that is your 3D figure. Okay. Yeah. You can also understand. You can also configure this one. Do you ever saw the 3D picture, 3D movie? No. Wait, 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 wait. Like, like you've never seen a movie in 3D? Pardon? Uh, like, are you are you asking if I have seen a movie in 3D? Yeah, movie in 3D. Yeah. Yes, I watched just like a movie. Yes, so three. suppose that when you are seeing your 3D movie, so length and breadth that you are you were seeing over there, okay? Suppose that any person's face you are seeing, or something, any sword that you are seeing, something, any uh, any object that you are seeing, so you can assign its length or breadth, but a little bit you can also configure its height over there, you know? Yes. Wait, but so like, how can you? So like, if if it was a rectangle, and and like uh the the length was no no no. If there will be rectangle, then you can't. Then if you'll see that on 3D, then that will also be rectangle. Okay. But if there is a cube, okay, if there will be like cube, yes. Okay. So in that condition, which figure that contains height? Then you can see that in 3D, okay? Yes. But yes. if there is no height, then how is it possible that you would like to see that in 3D? If you would like to see that in 3D, then also that it would like to be in 2D, <laughs> okay? Because there is no height, okay? Hello? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm... Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Yes, and also, beta, here that basic way what they are explaining. Suppose that you have to measure the area of your this figure, okay? You are seeing that it is not a regular figure, okay? Yes. So, what we have to do that, we just have to place the number of squares over there, okay? So, you can see that there is it, there are two squares in this one. So a little bit we can configure that in remaining areas there will be two square also will be there okay so the total mm -hmm. area that we can configure or consider okay that it will be approximately four centimeter square okay okay <coughs> because it is the type of prediction okay mm -hmm. it's a, it's a prediction okay so it is not possible to uh, find the exact area okay a figure okay if that will be a regular figure understand yes yes yes, yes I do great uh, the same thing that we did that in your previous uh, section so I don't think that we have to do that so come to the third one yep suppose that is there you can see that a palm or here on a screen so they are mm -hmm. asking that what will be its area so basically that they are saying that click to count the whole surface so all the surface that you have to click over there okay you are seeing that just see yeah mm -hmm. yep so that means three small is small that would like to be one centimeter okay and then again it is one okay up to here and if you'd like okay. to click over here then yes it is one so that means it's small is small two pieces that would like to make one okay and also in the same way like this are you understanding that in which way that uh, we are uh, miss, uh, predicting a little bit area okay understand yeah. means uh, you can understand over here uh, you can understand are you able to see my moving cursor yes yes and you can see that at the top of the middle finger you can see that here if i would like to click first two part then it is one okay 
If you'd like to okay. move above, then it will also be considered as one. You can see that it is increasing over here. Okay. Yes. Understand? So, like I'm this. Yeah, here you can see this one, and here you can see that this one a little bit. So, I mean to say that in this way, it is the right way to configure. I mean, suppose that if any person's hand or in any person's leg or anything, okay, if you want to configure or consider its area, so it is the best way, grid, grid is the best way to determine their area, okay, roughly. Mm, okay. it, will, it will not be accurate it will not be accurate it will be roughly okay roughly that will be clear clear yeah because you can see that if i would like to click over here so you can see that here of clicking there that is small small parts that would like to make one okay a small small part that would like to make one okay yes okay understand understand good so nothing that we have to understand over here so that means in this way that if you would like to click all that so you will get the area of that yep so here one important thing that can you tell me that what will be the area of this one b uh, four should be i mean two because because those two don't count right Oh, just to be sure, what's your answer that you have to give me? Beta, okay. <laughs> Beta, just see here. It's the area. Clearly, you can understand that it will be 4. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that you was giving me answer of the first one, but I was asking for the second one. Okay. So, here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I consider that. What is the area of the second? Um, I'm kind of getting confused because I don't really uh, think the uh, top part, the uh, triangle Ooh, part, better. part. You can see that yeah. here in this type of question, you just have to apply this phenomena that firstly just count your hole. There are two whole blocks, one and two, okay? Oh, okay and then and half is up and half is down, so it will be total three, okay? Three? three. Yep. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. And also, just see over here, it is 1, it is 2, it is 3, it is 4, and it is half. So, it will be total 4.5, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's... Now, just see here, just see over here, you have to firstly count the, means whole blocks, 1, 2, 3, and then half half, it will be 4 here, and it will be 5 here, okay? Oh, yes. yes. Yes, so the answer and, should be 5. Yes, and here, now firstly you have to con consider your whole blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then half of it will be 7, half of it will be 8. Okay. 8. Yep. Okay, now now I get it. <laughs> okay, no problem. Do you understand that? And when you mark yeah. it, yeah, yeah, all that's not correct. Uh, um, third question for this third question, the uh, four point five question. Um, like, if you give me like a test, is that gonna be on my test? Cause like, um, like uh, points. I I I know what like points are, but like um, whatever. I'll. It's okay. Whatever. Oh oh yeah, my but, God! You can ask me a question, but what do you want to ask to me? No, um, because I I thought like uh, the uh, the four point like like the four point five kind of questions like no, no. third question how like, how we are getting four point five I, I actually basic basic logic is there firstly you have to count your whole blocks okay one okay. two three four okay now you're seeing that there is a half block so with a half block that means zero point five okay so that's why that. I'm adding 4 plus 0 0.5. That's why I'm getting here is 4.5. That's it. Oh. Oh, yeah. it's so easy. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So, wait a second. If uh, if, 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 if uh, I would like to... Okay, no problem. So, there will be many questions over there. Okay, yeah. So, here also you can see that there is a rectangle. Yes, we would like to do some other questions in our online test. Okay. Okay. I'll just same like us. So here, 
what will be your length and what will be your width? Can you tell me? Width and width? Yep. I have seen this oh. rectangle over here. Yeah. Uh, length should be 5 centimeters, so a width should be 4 centimeters, so it should be 20. Oh, 20. Then I will do wrong of that. Why? Beta, your number is correct. Beta, you have to tell me that, sir, its area will be 20 centimeter square. Why are you forgetting of unit? Oh, uh, square, yes. Okay. Yes. I am not asking to you that of multiplication of numbers. So if you are multiplying your numbers, so what does it mean? I don't think that uh, you are explaining me area. No, simply that you are multiplying two numbers. That's are given over here. But if you will do that, that five centimeter times four centimeter. So and if will getting if you are getting that twenty centimeter square, centimeter square will assign that you are getting area. Okay. Oh. Suppose okay. that by mistake, suppose that by mistake or in quick manner, you are getting right answer, but by mistake, if you write that 20 centimeter, so what will be that? That means you are writing perimeter there. Yeah, it's supposed to be square. Centimeter. Yes, always remember if anything that will be area so that will be in square form okay either centimeter square meter square kilometer square or any else okay either with respect to any unit okay yes okay great yeah. great now yes. so here a um, mr the oh my god they are explaining each and every time means <laughs> with respect to graded form count the grade yep all the grade uh, five times I four know. yeah that will be four. 20 yeah, 20 mm -hmm. centimeter square and with respect to formula area equals to length times width Okay, oh sorry yeah. yes. um, Do I have to say uh, 20 or like any like do I have to say centimeter squares or square centimeters because that cause yes, I that's, always that's the same. Yeah, yeah, that's same. That's same okay. 20 square centimeter. Okay <laughs> Beta 20 centimeter square either you can write in this way or you can write 20 centimeter square okay okay yes, you can write that wait wait hold on just see on your screen i think that in your recording you'll not be able to see the paint screen but you can write that 20 centimeter square or 20 square centimeter okay that's the same thing okay okay but most probably that basically that uh, every student used to write in this format yeah that's so much easy <laughs> okay so in either any way that you can write that both are correct okay, okay. now next is sixth one yep so you can tell me one by one the area अरे उठ जाओ यार देर हो जाएगी भैया को हाँ या मैं हूँ आई मैं हूँ आह अमाज़ूस एंड चीज़ हाउ मच इट विल बी व्हाट विल बी द एरिया ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर्स यप ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर्स स्क्वायर दैट इज़ रिटेन देयर ओके सो नेक्स्ट हियर हाउ मच इट विल बी um, 16. Yep, that's right. How much will it be? Um, uh, wait, wait. I think that you have to calculate that in written. 2.5 multiplied by 3. Um, ah, yeah, that's the thing. I really don't know how to like, do a, like, a, a number point, a number, a times. Oh, oh no, no, no problem, Peter. No problem. Okay, okay, you can tell me that what will be the area of this one here. Tell me. Uh, which one? That one? Okay, yes. Yeah, and the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, ten. Uh, one, two, three, four. 
11, 12. Uh, 12.5? Yep, that's right. 12.5. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So, also, Bita, I'm going to tell you here. Just see on your screen. Yeah. Here, yeah. yeah. Bita, uh, you are a little bit uh, having problem in multiplying this type. Oh, that means basically that uh, we have to do a little bit practice of multiplication of decimals. Oh, so but miss, you know that I am telling you the keyword. What? Just write there 2.5. Okay, multiplied mm -hmm. by 3. Okay, oh. without, without any confusion, just forget your decimal. Okay, mm -hmm. 3 fives are 15, 5 carry 1, 3 twos are 6, and 1, it will be 7. Okay, now just uh, yeah, it will be and then just copy. You are seeing that your decimal is one digit before, so it you have to copy your decimal over here one digit before. Okay, and your answer will be 7.5. Okay, okay, I did 2.5 three times, and then that's why I got 7.5. That was like more easier because like if it's like a lower number, then that like, that's like more easier. Yes, yes. Well, or simply that is 25, 3 is a 75, and you are seeing that decimal is one place before, so that will be 7.5. Understand? Uh, sure. Yes. Great. Can you tell me the answer of like 4.6 multiplied by 2.7? Just do that. Four, four point six. Six multiplied okay. by two point seven. Um, wait, I am doing this. Okay. Are you trying? Yes, yes, yes. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sir, um, actually, uh, this, um, actually, uh, I'm not <coughs> sure, um, I, I'm sort of having trouble with, like, um, No problem, like, Bita. Wait a second, wait a second. Just see on your screen. It's a very easy to understand, beta. Don't worry about that. Okay, copy your question. Here I am giving you 4.6 multiplied by 2.7. Okay. First of all, sir told me to forget decimals. Okay. Okay. So forget that. Now multiply your numbers only. Seven six are forty-two. Two carry four. Seven four is a twenty-eight. Four thirty-two. Clear? Oh, that was and, fast. Yep. And then two six is a twelve. And one cross will be there because you are now leaving one digit, and you are multiplying by second digit. So that's why that first digit that you have to first place you have to leave. Two six is a twelve. Two carry one. Four to the eight one nine. Okay. Um. Understand? Um, no. What? Oh, oh, oh no, okay. No. <laughs> beta, I am simply multiplying beta. Seven six are forty two two. Here will be carry four. Give me a second. Here will be carry four. Okay. Seven four is a twenty eight. And plus 4, you will get 32. Okay? Okay. Now, next, you have to do one cross over here. 2, 6 are 12. You are writing here 2. And again, you will get that carry will be there 1. Here. Okay? 
and 2 4s are 8 and 1. That's why I'm writing in 9. That's it. Okay. Um, okay, fine. Okay. I think that uh, you are not comfortable of uh, multiplying two digits. Yes, yes, that, that's correct. Oh, Peter, just see that. Means simple process I am telling you. Do you understand the first step? Uh, well, the first step is like, um, you just have to, like, if, like, Miss, I am, but I, I am multiplying first digit, unit digit, okay, I am multiplying this one, I am multiplying this number, 7 to 6 firstly, and then 7 to 4, okay, I am writing okay. that, okay, and I am writing that, so 7, 6 are 42, 2, 42, so here 2 will be here and 4 will be carry, okay? And then 7, 4s are 28 and in 28 you have to add your carry, so it will be 32, okay? Uh, yes. uh, sir, um, actually, I, I, I'm not really used to, um, like, you know how like, uh, like, uh, 5, 3, the, I mean, 5, 3 is a something, oh, whatever it was. I oh, table, really table, I table. You are not used to table. Then how is it possible to uh, get your calculations, you know? What? Wait, no, 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 no. Um, no, I, I know my tables, um, but... I oh, mean, means you, you don't use to, you don't use to do that means like 7, 6, 42, like that, huh? Yeah, yes, I, I, I don't say it like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's not a matter of that one. That's a uh, miss yeah, here yeah. in India. I that generally, Peter, you are in uh, you are in Africa. Oh, sorry, <laughs> no, you are in America. So regarding to that one, I don't know that. I think that table sense that will be the same, but their sense of learning that will be I oh, think different. Like, um, seven times six. Like we will. Seven. Oh, okay, no problem, yeah. dear. Seven times six that will be. 42 2 carry 4 7 times 4 that will be 28 plus 4 it will be 32 now you understand that okay and again you now you are multiplying by second digit okay okay so here you what you have to understand over here give me a second <sighs> wait yep now it is your second digit that 2 okay now you are leaving the first digit, so that's why you are making one cross over here, okay? okay. And now it's a second digit. So 2 times 6, that is 12. So mm -hmm. out of 12, you are writing, you are copying 2 over here, and 1 you are taking carry over here, okay? Okay. And then 2 times 4, that is 8. 8 and 1, that will be your 9. Okay. Understand? Okay. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, okay, give me one second that I am raising a little bit all these because we don't have. There is no requirement of all these. Hold on. Yep. 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 And yes. Yes. Yeah. So now here you can see clearly when you will. When multiply that now, the main thing that you have to add, so 2 you have to copy as it is, 2 plus 2 you'll get 4, and 9, 3 you'll get 12 here, okay? Okay. 9 plus 3, sorry, plus, here'll be plus. So, now, Bitai, what you have to remember, now you can see that, you can see that, uh, wait, why red color? Here, you can see that in your first number, decimal is one digit before or not? Uh, and also, okay. yeah, decimal is one digit before, okay? okay? And here you can see that decimal is also one digit before. So clearly there will be two digit or not. So that means now you have to place decimal two digit before, okay? One digit for, for the first number and one digit for the second number, okay? Oh. <coughs> that means it will be 12.42. That is your answer. Okay.
Understand? And at the last, one more question I am explaining over here related to uh, multiplication. Just see on your screen again. Okay. Okay. Suppose that it is given 2.35. Are you able to see this glitter? Yeah. <coughs> Green one. Yes. 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 I can see. And uh, next one is uh, next number that is your 4.3. Okay. 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 I have. We have to multiply that. So, when we have to multiply, so that means, wait, it will be like this, and then I'm going to multiply these numbers. So, firstly, without any confusion, just leave your decimal, okay, just forget your decimals, multiply your okay. numbers, 3 times 5, 3 fives are 15, 5, Okay, carry will be one. Okay, three times okay. three that will be nine. Nine one ten it will be zero. Again here carry will be one. Okay, three times two that will be six plus one it will be seven. Do you understand the first step? Wait, can you can you repeat that again? Yo, beta. Firstly here you have to multiply your red numbers unit number that means three two green one okay? okay three times five that is your 15 so you have to copy five here and you have to copy one over there okay okay yeah and three threes are sorry three times three that is nine and nine plus one you will get ten so ten zero will be here and one you have to copy over here. Understand? Okay. And three times two, that is six. Six plus one, that will be seven. Now you understand? Um, yes. I Peter, I, miss, uh, I mean to say that in which way that you use to multiply, I don't <laughs> know. But uh, basically what I want to tell you, I want to tell you one thing. And what that one thing is, one thing is that firstly multiply your number okay and now four fives are 20 okay four fives are 20 is zero and uh, here'll be two and four threes are 12 12 plus two it will be 14 four carry one and four twos are eight and one it will be nine okay okay yeah means i'm multiplying that okay that means 4 times 5, that will be 20, 0, carry 2. 4 times 3, that will be 12. 12 plus 2, it will be 14. 4, carry 1. 4 times 2, that will be 8 plus 1, that is 9. Clear? Clear. Um, sir, I have just like uh, maybe two questions. Yep. Okay, um, one question is, um, uh, actually, like, um, can we first, like, like, maybe, like, on Wednesday when I have class again, um, can we, like, start, like, with this, but without decimals, like, 13 times 12, like, like, without decimals, can we do that? Uh, yes, yes, uh, yeah, I am also thinking that uh, there is a little bit I have to explain about decimal talk yeah. to you, and but, uh, you can see that, and the keyword is that, firstly, are simply that you can you are able to multiply it uh, wait sorry uh, means simply that but I, I'm asking one thing are you able to multiply 23 times uh, 42 simply or 43 um I, I should uh, 3 times 3 is 6 3 times 3, three what I mean 9 sorry 3 times 3 that will be 9 bit eh? <laughs> and 3 times 2, that will be 6, okay? And on the other really? side... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, uh, um, wait, can you... I'm gonna note down what you say. Wait, do it again, uh... 3 times 3, that will be 9. Oh, bro, actually you don't know about the process. Oh, I understand that, I understand that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Just see on your screen. 
firstly your unit number you have to multiply three times five three times three and then three times two okay okay wait yes. three times three three times two hold on let's see uh three times